Hello, and welcome. In this video, we will solve a circuit problem using the superposition theorem. The problem. The problem asks us to use the superposition theorem to find the voltage VO in the provided circuit diagram. The circuit contains a 2 ohm resistor on the left, where the voltage VO is measured. This is in series with a 3 ohm resistor. In the center, there is a 4 ampere current source pointing upwards. To the right, there is a 5 ohm resistor in series with a 10 volt voltage source. Solution using the superposition theorem. The superposition theorem tells us that the total voltage VO is the sum of the voltages produced by each independent source acting one at a time. So, we can write the equation. VO equals V1 plus V2. Here, V1 is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor due to the 4 ampere current source only. And V2 is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor due to the 10 volt voltage source only. Let's find each of these voltages one by one. Step 1, find V1, effect of the current source. To find V1, we consider only the 4 ampere current source and set the 10 volt voltage source to zero. Setting a voltage source to zero means replacing it with a short circuit, which is just a wire. The modified circuit now has the 4 ampere current source in the middle. The current from this source splits into two paths. One path goes left through the 3 ohm and 2 ohm resistors. The other path goes right through the 5 ohm resistor. We need to find the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor, which is labeled as I1. We can find this using the current divider rule. The formula shown is I1 equals 4 times the fraction, with 5 in the numerator, and 3 plus 2 plus 5 in the denominator. Let's calculate this. The denominator is 3 plus 2 plus 5, which equals 10. So, I1 equals 4 times 5 divided by 10. This simplifies to 20 divided by 10, which gives us 2 amperes. So, I1 is 2 amperes. Now we can find V1 using Ohm's law, which is voltage equals current times resistance. V1 is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor. V1 equals I1 times 2. Substituting the value of I1, we get V1 equals 2 times 2, which equals 4 volts. So, V1 is 4 volts. Step 2, find V2, effect of the voltage source. Next, to find V2, we consider only the 10 volt voltage source and set the 4 ampere current source to 0. Setting a current source to 0 means replacing it with an open circuit, which is a break in the wire. In this new circuit, the 2 ohm, 3 ohm, and 5 ohm resistors are all in series with the 10 volt source. We need to find the voltage V2 across the 2 ohm resistor. We can do this using the voltage division rule. The formula is V2 equals 10 times the fraction, with 2 in the numerator, and 2 plus 3 plus 5 in the denominator. Let's calculate this. The denominator is 2 plus 3 plus 5, which equals 10. So, V2 equals 10 times 2 divided by 10. The 10s cancel out, leaving us with 2 volts. So, V2 is 2 volts. Step 3, find the total voltage, VO. Now we have both components of the voltage. We can find the total voltage VO by adding V1 and V2. VO equals V1 plus V2. Substituting the values we found. VO equals 4 plus 2. This gives us the final answer. VO equals 6 volts. The final result, boxed in the solution, is VO equals 6V.